With access to over 50 cutting edge generative AI image and video tools, getting started with pixeldojo.ai can feel a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry, I'm gonna step you through getting started. The first thing you're gonna do is jump into your dashboard. This has quick access to all of the main tools that you're gonna to use. And in our case, you can see there's different image and video models that you can select from. You've also got the left-hand side column menu here. This has all of the main categories of tools. And to get started, you can simply go to create. Now you can see you have everything from the OpenAI GPT Image 1, Stable Diffusion, Ideagram, Recraft, High Dream, pretty much everything you can think of. Now to get started, I'm gonna simply go with Flux Studio. Flux is a series of AI generative image models that Honestly, they have a good kind of trade-off between flexibility and the ability to create really high resolution, stunning images that are very realistic. So I usually tend to get started with Flux. And all you have to do is describe what you want to create. So we're going to enter in a prompt here. And I'm just going to say a portrait photo of a woman in a modern office space. We're going to go ahead and select four images and you've got your settings over here on the right hand side. So we'll click on that and you can see there are all the different models that are offered by Flux. Now, typically Flux Pro is, is pretty good. Flux Schnell is sort of the fastest model. So it's good for just iterating through a bunch of ideas quickly. And then Flux Ultra is the highest resolution version of Flux. So I tend to just go with Pro or Dev. Those are both fantastic models. You don't have to adjust anything else. And we'll go ahead and click on generate. And actually, before I do that, I am going to go and I'm going to do four fifths. So it's a little bit of a sort of portrait photo that we're generating. And we'll click on generate. You can see it's generating four images at the same time here right now. And there we go. We've got back our images. And I like these images. Let's go ahead and find like this one, for example. We could go ahead and save it. We'll click on this save icon. And that saves it to my media over here on the left-hand side that you can see. All right, so let's make some changes to this image. We'll click on the edit button and we can go to the settings and you can see that the edit mode selection, there are two different options, Flux Context Pro and Flux Context Max. These are basically two different, really high quality editing models that Flux has put out. Flux Context Max is what we're gonna use here. It's the highest quality model. And then for our prompt, we're gonna say, she's wearing a blue shirt holding a red shampoo bottle that says Pixel Dojo. This is really cool because what's gonna happen is it's gonna take that same image and it's just going to make those changes. It's not gonna change the background, the scene, the setting, the person's face, any of that, but it's gonna change exactly what we asked for, which is pretty crazy. And you can see here, let's go ahead and zoom in. We've now got her holding a shampoo bottle that says Pixel Dojo. And that's pretty fantastic. Now, when you edit the images multiple times specifically, you can get some slight anomalies or artifacting that happens. I've noticed that. So what I did is I built in this face enhance button. So if you click on this, it goes through and it runs a separate model that enhances the facial structure just slightly. And it's a really nice, sort of thing to clear up some of those artifacts that can happen at times. And you can see what I mean here. It's just cleaned up the face a little bit. So it's a nice little extra added benefit of using Pixel Dojo. So now we've got this image. We'll go ahead and just, we'll save this original one. This will save to my media as well. Cool. So now what we can do is we can actually go and we can animate this character if we wanted to. So we could drop down in here to the animate tab. We'll go ahead and close create, open animate, and you can do image to video since we're starting with an image. And since we've already saved that image to our My Media Gallery, you can see it's already down here. So we can just click on it. That loads it up. So we're pretty much set to go. And then you can select from all of these different AI video models. Kling Pro 1.6 is pretty good. So is Kling 2.0. Kling honestly is probably the highest quality of the models. We'll go ahead and just select 1.6, a five second video. We'll do nine by 16 since this is a taller aspect ratio. 
and you can go ahead and just put in your prompt. The prompt should describe the motion that you want. So we can say smiling and talking while showcasing the shampoo bottle. It's just what we want from this. You can also describe camera motions, for example. So you could say a panning shot or zooming in slowly, a dolly shot, all of those sort of things you can apply to these different models. So we'll go ahead and click on generate and that's gonna take just a minute and we're gonna get a nice, really amazing quality video out of this. And in just a couple minutes, we've got our video. Let's go ahead and take a look. And it's exactly what I was hoping for. She's showcasing the product and that's what we want. So now we can go ahead and save this. Very important to save it. And you can see there are a couple of different options down here. You could add sound to this. You could add sound effects to the background of the video. You can even upscale the video. We have a 4K video upscaler. So if you want something that's much higher resolution, you can build that in as well. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna go to text to speech. We're gonna click on that. And the cool thing here is you can create voices. So we'll go ahead and say, um, we'll give it a line. Basically, what's the text that you want the person to speak? We'll say, my hair has never looked better. I love Pixel Dojo shampoo. So we'll select, you can see there's a whole bunch of different voices here that you can select from. So we'll go inspirational girl, English, and you can do advanced settings. And you can see, you can select from different types of emotions. So we'll say happy, and then you can mess around with the pitch, the speed, the volume, all of that. We'll click on generate. And this only takes a few seconds. What's better? I love Pixel Dojo shampoo. There we go. Super fast. So we'll go ahead and download the audio. And then we'll click on use with lip sync. And with lip sync, you can see it automatically loaded in the audio for us. And we can just click on use this video. Now we've got our video and we've got our audio and we can click on start lip sync. This is going to sync the audio to the video, but more importantly, it's gonna change the shape of her mouth and actually make it look like she's saying these words. All right, let's take a look at the final product here. My hair has never looked better. I love Pixel Dojo shampoo. There you go. And now you can either save this to your library just like before, or you can download the video. And now you've got your lip synced audio and video. The other thing you could do though is you could take uh, and you could generate an image to video or text to video, and then you could use the text to speech to do basically a voiceover, right? And then you can use any editing software, even the stuff that's built into your computer, and you can just layer on the video with the audio over it. So there's lots of different options depending on what you're trying to accomplish. As always, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. This is just one of dozens, if not hundreds of different use cases you have for Pixel Dojo 